This is a video on the Pharmacy Charge module. This is a free module within Practice Manager which allows you to send electronic prescriptions. What is Pharmacy Urge and what does it offer? Pharmacy Urge is a pharmacy service which specializes in rapid, reliable prescription medication delivery. It offers free same day delivery within London postcodes, free next day delivery nationally, it's a free service to practitioners, it offers price check medication for patients, they are a dedicated pharmacy team who specialise in serving private practitioners and their patients. They offer efficient tools for prescriptions management to reduce practitioner workload. To find out more information about Pharmacy Urge, if you visit www.pharmacyurge.com for further details. In order to make sure your DGL Practice Manager is set up correctly for registering for Pharmacy Urge, you need to click on the Miscellaneous menu, then go down to Preferences, then System Preferences, and click on Pharmacy Urge Preferences. Just make sure that all the tick boxes are ticked. And then click OK. To now sign up your practice for the Pharmacy Urge module, the easiest way to do this is by clicking on the ePrescribe Easily banner on the main screen of your DGL Practice Manager. This will then take you to the registration screen for your clinic. All you now need to do is fill out the on-screen details we just put in the contact name, the job title, the telephone number of the practice and then the email for activation queries. And then if we then scroll down if you put the clinic or company name that you wish to register for Pharmacy Urge, if you're a sole practitioner, if you enter your own name. The street number or building name. And then the postcode. If we then scroll down to tell the system how many prescribers will be in the practice, if we then enter how many prescribers will be at the clinic, and then if we then enter the names of those prescribers. If we then scroll down again, it will then display the terms of business for Pharmacy Urge. You'll need to read this and scroll down to the bottom. Once you've read this, you need to tick the I agree to terms of business and then click register. You will then get a pop-up saying registration complete. Pharmacy Urge will contact you once activated. If you then click OK to this message, you will then receive an email from Pharmacy Urge to say when your practice is activated. Once your account has been verified by Pharmacy Urge, you will then need to register users with Pharmacy Urge. There are two types of users. There are prescribing users. These are GMC registered practitioners or non-prescribing users. These are usually practice managers or medical secretaries. Please note, non-prescribing users can only raise a prescription. They cannot authorize them. The only people that can authorize a prescription are prescribing users. To register a new user, you need to click on the ePrescribe option then register new user for Pharmacy Urge ePrescribe. If you click on this, if you then select what type of user you are, a non-prescribing or prescribing, create your password for your account, and then confirm it on the right hand side. Then scroll down to the personal details, Then you need to create an authorization pin number to authorize subscriptions and prescriptions. Then scroll down to address details. The address details will appear on the prescription headers.
then scroll down to the terms of business you will need to scroll through this and read it and then tick on the I agree to the terms of business and then select add user you will then receive a pop-up on screen user details have been submitted for medical verification pharmacy urge will contact you once this is completed then click OK you will then need to repeat the process for any further users you need to register with pharmacy urge once your user details have been verified with pharmacy urge you will then be able to raise a pharmacy urge prescription there are a few ways of doing this but I'm going to show you through the e-prescribe option first if I click on the e-prescribe option at the top here and then click create a pharmacy urge e-prescription this will then take me into the create prescription screen at the top here you have the registered doctor if there are more than one registered doctor in the practice you need to select the relevant one you're raising it on the behalf of so if I click on the drop down and select the one I want then below that you need to select the patient you're raising the prescription for this can be done in the normal way by selecting on the magnifying glass and then select the patient one and click OK you can then click the add prescription option if however the patient hasn't got sufficient details it will warn you at this point and it will tell you what you need to update you then need to go back to the patient detail screen to update the relevant information that's missing if I click OK if I select a patient that's got all the details required and then click OK you can also enter in current and ongoing medication over here and any allergies the patient might have if I now click on the add prescription button this is where I can add my drugs on to the prescription I simply start typing in the drug I wish to add and it will give me the available options down here if I select on the one I want to use once selected on the right hand side it will show you the available pack sizes if I just enter in the supply quantity now then below that you have the instructions so I can put here any instructions then if there's a repeat needed I can click on the drop down and select that option in here once I've done this I then simply click the add medication button and then if I scroll down this will show you any medication that's been added to the prescription if I notice the quantity is wrong or I need to change anything about it I can click on the edit option up here and then that will then allow me to change anything necessary for the medication and then if I then click add medication again and scroll down this will update the edits I've just made if I want to remove the drug off the list I just click the remove option if I want to add on a custom drug this can also be done if I scroll up in the medication box if you start typing in the name of the custom drug you wish to add as you can see no available options are showing up if I click on the add new option this is where I can enter in my custom drug and then again I can enter in my supply quantity and then any instructions and then if a repeat is needed again and then click add medication once I've added a custom drug for the first time this will be available for future use if I now scroll down you can see my custom drug and my other drug that's on the prescription if a drug is on the free medicines fact sheet or the BNF list or the pediatric BNF list the options over here will become enabled please be aware once you select this option you need to have a subscription to that option once I've entered everything I need on the prescription I can enter in any script comments and then once I'm happy I then simply click on the submit script option you'll then see the following pop-up box come up if I then click the submit prescription button again it will then bring up the authorized prescription screen if you are an authorizing user you can simply enter in your pin number here and then select the doctor you, who you are and then click I authorize this prescription or if you're a non prescribing user you can click on the doctor to authorize later option if I do that now you can then select which user you want to notify to authorize the prescription later on so if I click on the notify option for this user there are also other ways you can raise a pharmacy urge prescription I'll show you these now 
the first option is by clicking on the patient menu and then clicking on electronic patient record if I then select my patient in the normal way and then click OK down the left hand side you have the medication option and then if you click on the e-prescribe with pharmacyurge this will allow you to raise a pharmacyurge e-prescription if I click cancel out of this screen I can also raise one by going to the patient menu then patient details selecting my patient again in the normal way and then click on OK and then down here there's a the little create e-prescription option if I click on that again that takes me into the e-prescription option if I click cancel out of this and then click OK I can also do it by clicking on the patient menu and then pharmacyurge e-prescribe and create pharmacyurge e-prescription and again raise it through there if I click cancel on this I can also click on the little ERX logo down here and again that will take me into the same screen if I just click cancel out of this if you are a prescribing user and you wish to see which prescriptions are due to be authorized that the non-prescribing users have raised to do this if you click on the e-prescribe option and then if you click on pharmacy urge e-prescriptions requiring authorization by default it puts in this month but you can click on the calendar option and change the dates or you can click on the preset dates option and select the relevant options in here this will then show you any prescriptions that are awaiting authorization by a doctor you simply click on the prescription you wish to authorize and then if you click on the authorized prescription option and then just make sure you select the doctor that's authorizing it and then the doctor that's been selected will need to put in their pin number to authorize the prescription and then they simply click on the I authorize this prescription it will get the following prompt come up if you then click OK and then once it's been successful it will say that your prescription has been authorized and securely transferred to pharmacy urge if you then click OK you can then simply move on to your next one to authorize if I click OK out of this report there's also another report you can run which is under the e-prescribe option and then there's a pharmacy urge activity report if I click on this option this will show you any prescriptions that have been authorized and also are awaiting doctor's authorization again by default it puts the start and end date of the current month but again you can simply click on the calendar and change the dates and click OK or you can change the preset dates option and select a relevant option in here and then that will show you any prescriptions on that date field if I then click OK to come out of this report when you add on a new patient you can also add this patient onto pharmacy urge as well to do this if you click on the patient menu and then patient details there's some mandatory fields you need when adding on a new patient these are the surname the forename the title the date of birth You also need to enter in the town and postcode. And then you also need to enter in a mobile number. And then when you click OK, You'll get the following prompt if you want to register the new patient with pharmacy urge if you click yes and then it will then say the new patient has been registered with pharmacy urge if you then click ok that will then register the patient on pharmacy urge this now concludes the training video on the pharmacy urge module